Hello, hello. I hope you're having a fabulous day. Um, <clears throat> shameless plug, it's been a while. If you have not left a review for the show, um, I highly, highly appreciate that when you do that. And I'm not really good at even honestly looking. I don't see them. I'm not an Apple user. I am an Android person, so I know that many of you probably listen through Apple, and I just don't see all of the reviews. I'm working on switching that over, but please know that I really, really, really appreciate any review that you leave on the podcast. If you're loving it, if you share it with others, I've heard um, from multiple people that you've sh you share the episodes or you talk about them in your conversations that you have, so please know how much I appreciate that. And it continues to inspire me to keep going with this. I know that I don't use this uh, podcast to its fullest potential, which is probably a podcast episode in itself. Um, but know that I'm working on it. I'm, you know, again, and the reviews I know mean a whole lot when it comes to the growth. And my goal is just to continue to share and inspire everybody else with these messages and these short little bites. So if they inspire you and you feel like somebody else could benefit from it, please, please, please share. Okay. Anyway, um, today we're talking about <clears throat> talking about yourself, getting used to it because that's part of business ownership. And I know that we were trained for years and years and years, uh, myself included that, you know, talking about yourself is just like not acceptable, right? Like we just don't do it. But now you're in the world of entrepreneurship and I'm here to tell you, you got to get comfortable talking about yourself. You got to get comfortable talking about your expertise. You got to get comfortable talking about what you do. You've got to get comfortable promoting yourself and <clears throat> it's a tough place. I mean, it's really difficult, but the thing is, is like, you've got to look at, especially if you're not where you want to be in business, I would challenge you to really look at and ask yourself like how often Am I even sharing or telling people that I have, I'm available to take clients? How often am I sharing my testimonials? This was, um, I am inside of Leah, Holt, uh, Leah Turner's membership program for LinkedIn. And she was talking about LinkedIn clinic. And she was saying that she shares a testimonial um, or some kind of self promotion once every four days. And I was like, holy crap. Like, wow, I thought I was doing really good talking about myself, but then she shared that with me and I was thinking, oh my God, I don't, I definitely don't do that. But the, the reality is, is then I looked at like, look at how successful her business is. And that's what she said. She's like, of course you should be talking about yourself. If you can't be proud of yourself and you can't share about it, how are other people going to? Like you have to, it's your job to share and tell other people about what you do, the results that you get. It's your job to share these testimonials from, you know, in the screenshots and all of these different things. And you need to be doing it all the time. You can't do it once a month and hope to God people see it. Like you're constantly, again, you're, people are seeing your stuff at all different times. And whether it's on a call, you, you know, talk about that. Like, Hey, I've been working with this client. Here's the results they got. Here's what we've been working on. I mean, you've got to get used to sharing and talking about the results and why people should do business with you. And I know that that's difficult and I know that we all really, really struggle with it. But at this point, you've got to look at it. And this is, I'm talking to myself right now too. Like all of these quote unquote struggles are just excuses because it keeps us safe, right? Like I can't honestly justify any of the reasons that I would give you about why I don't talk about myself or why I don't share testimonials. At the end of the day, it's all just an excuse. And so you're, and I've heard this thing before too, and I don't remember what it is, but like your desire to succeed has to be stronger than your excuses. And if it's not, then okay, but then be comfortable and be, you know, satisfied with the results that you're currently getting. But if you are desiring different results, then look and see what your excuses are. And one of the excuses is like, oh, I don't like talking about myself or I don't want to feel spammy or I don't want to annoy people always promoting about myself or I don't want to shit. They're all excuses. Like if somebody is going to get annoyed because you're talking about yourself, they're not your ideal client anyways. Like, hello. Like when's the last time you got annoyed? Like for God's sakes, like even using Leah Turner. And if you're not on LinkedIn, you wouldn't know that name, but Leah Turner is like all over LinkedIn. She's like the LinkedIn master trainer, whatever. And she's everywhere. She's all over. And so she talks all the time about her results and the things that she does and how well she does them and all the different things that she 
and I see it, right? I see it all the time. So when she launched this membership and it was like exclusive and only a hundred members, I didn't care what it was or what it included. I mean, I looked into it a little bit, but I was just like, you know what? She's the best. I want in. She's, I've seen her results. I see how people like flock to her. I've seen her social justification, the social proof, like I'm in. And that's the thing. Like, I didn't look at her like, wow, she must be super conceited or wow, she's jamming her shit down my throat. No, I was like, how the hell do I get in on that? You know, and that's the thing. You've got to shift your mindset a little bit because I. when's the last time, like if somebody's doing it in a, in a really crappy way, and then that's one thing. But the reality is none of you are ever going to do that. You're not going to do it in a super shitty way. So like, just get used to it. Your desire to succeed has got to be stronger than your excuses and not being comfortable talking about yourself Guaranteed, all of them are some level of excuse, right? There's no factual information that you can put behind any of it as to why you shouldn't be doing it. You know, you just can't. So get out there and I'm going to challenge you to do what Leah does, myself included, and start talking about yourself, sharing a testimonial, sharing a result, sharing a screenshot. You all have them. If you have clients, People have sent you those quick messages like, hey, Michelle, just got this. You know, hey, Michelle, thank you so much for this. Hey, you know, wow, you're, you know, even one, like little things like, oh my God, you're a genius. I never would have thought of that. Like those little text messages, they mean a lot because people see it and they look at it and they process it differently. So go through your texts, go through your messengers, go through your emails, go through your recommendations. If you need to ask people for testimonials, ask people for recommendations, ask people for a video testimonial. Um, get the release to share it and start talking about yourself at least at minimum once every four days. I thought that was such a brilliant way to look at it. All right. So there's your homework for today. Talk to you soon.